That is interesting. What I wanted to say is that part of me wonders whether, you know, Annex Jones, Gonzalo Lira, like, there's a lot of clown energy with all of this. Melee. Like, are these p positive steps or are they backward steps? Is this like... Because part of me wonders whether this is like almost putting us all back on the reservation in a way. It's like, oh, right. And so now Alex Jones is back, but he's still Alex Jones and he still has all his kind of boomer talking points, uh, Machina and all the rest of it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I have mixed feelings because I, you know, part of me thought that as a whole, people had got a bit more sophisticated or moved on a bit or they'd um whereas this feels like it's trying to like bring back 2016 in a way and a kind of mm. like the, like the I don't know about chart. that I mean Go I on, definitely I, I remain hesitant and skeptically hopeful regarding Musk I think at this point despite how much we complain about him it's pretty unequivocal unequivocal that he's been a huge positive for the genuine right uh, in what he's done with Twitter. Uh, definitely, there's a lot of weird decisions. You know, we, we remain in clown world, for sure. Maybe that explains it. I mean, what can you expect but clowns at this point? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's always this sort of back and forth. I mean, I, I think Elon Musk is, is doing a sort of very intentional um yeah, there's like this back and forth cadence to like how he operates, right? It's like, okay, now Alex Jones is back and then news cycle happens and then X person comes back, right? It's it, He never does it all at once. So I think directionally things are, are looking good, but there's definitely a lot of weirdos, but I don't know. We're, we're weirdos too. I mean, maybe it's just, uh, maybe this is how it's going to be now. It's like you only just I have agree. These sort of like freakish yeah. people. I agree. Yeah, yeah. It is a, there's a kind of Groundhog Day feel to all of this. Like, you know, it's the same kind of circulation of personalities and talking points and the news cycle. I mean, you see it with the UK as well. Like, all of a sudden, Farage is relevant again, then Tommy Robinson, then Katie, what's her name? Hopkins. Hopkins. And you know it's the same kind of talking like, points. But like in America, I, it's all. It, how can I say it's like, it's all quite kind of Q adjacent. Can I say that? Yeah, yeah. It does um, feel it has a Qish vibe in some he, ways. Uh, Tucker had uh, Marjorie Taylor Green on. She's pretty kooky as well, you know. Um, I don't know. It's just it's just something about that energy. I mean, maybe that's what it has to be because that's where the energy is in America. But I feel like, I don't know, part of me wonders if it's a retrograde step is all I'm saying. But uh, I mean, you know. being, if you, this is the, so the reason I got interested in Mench's, Mench's Moldbug in the first place is that this one line in one of his uh, open letters where he outlines like five strategies to win uh, from the Republican side. And one of them is to like basically just be as, as batshit insane as possible, which is what Trump did, and that's how Trump won. And I was like, oh, this guy clearly uh, understood something about politics in America. I mean, maybe this is just how you have to do right wing politics in America. I mean, if you look in the pet, if you look at America's history, this isn't even that weird. Like, take a deep dive into abolitionism in the United States and its counterpart, um, and it doesn't really look different than what we're seeing now. In fact, it might even be, you could definitely argue that it was even crazier. So yeah, from the, I guess, European perspective, the whole like, this is crazy stuff makes, like I see why you would say that, but also this is kind of just how America does politics in a grand way. Yeah, I can, I can, I can see that. They, they're, what do they call it? The, uh, there's a name for it, the conspiratorial, uh, the power, what do they call it? The paranoid mind, the, the paranoid style in American politics. There, there's yeah, something paranoid about style yeah, yeah, politics, the paranoid style in American politics. Paranoid style. There's definitely a long history of it, uh, which has always been that John Birch has always been a bit like that. Uh, 